Good morning. All right, so we are on day 12 of becoming a mindful child of God, and we are in Romans today, Romans chapter 14, verse 19. It says, let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. So we've been talking a lot about peace, but that choosing of peace through a mindful life. Um, but this verse takes it a step further into the edification of others. And I think that's really important because as God's children, we have to really avoid that temptation to follow the crowd into gossip or um, speaking negative things over people's lives. And we really have to remind ourselves that we are to edify and honor others. And we are to speak blessings and speak life over them. And when we do this, it gives us this peace that is different than just a peace of knowing Christ, but it's a peace of knowing that He lives in us and He is guiding our words and He is guiding our actions so that we are able to honor and love and edify others. And it's not just about speaking life over other people, but it's also speaking life to people. And so if you have someone in your life that's negatively speaking over themselves, maybe they're not honoring and edifying themselves, it's important for us as his children and their brother or sister in Christ to edify and honor them to themselves so that they can start to see themselves through the lens of others because that's really important. They need to know the blessings and the amazing things that they have to offer the world. And so it's important for us to do that to others. And it is also important for us to sometimes speak truth in love to others. And that doesn't always feel great, but it's important. And so I think that um, this verse does talk about that. I think it's a mutual edification where we edify each other, but it's also about speaking truth to one another in love and um, remembering that, you know, sometimes we get really frustrated and we just want to spew out angry words and we have to stop and we have to remind ourselves that we can speak truth, but we have to do it in a loving manner to salvage and, and maintain purity in those relationships that we have. And so the next time you're feeling frustrated, or you're feeling like you need to spew out maybe some words of not edification, then try to take a breath and remember that God is living in you and he is guiding those words and he can help you to um, speak truth in a manner that is going to be honoring to him and honoring to others. And so I wanna challenge you today, if you're in situations where you feel the need to um, follow the crowd into negativity, I want you to stop and I want you to ask God to guide your words and help you to edify and honor others. And if you are in a frustrated situation where you need to spew out some angry, frustrated words, then stop and ask God to give you the words to speak truth and love. So that is my challenge for you guys today. I hope it encouraged you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.